for anyone dealing with a cancer diagnosis is hard enough and I'm sure a lot of us have probably seen people impacted by the disease firsthand. Yeah, that's right, but oftentimes it's the financial struggles that we don't see. According to a study by the American Cancer Society CAN Network, 39% of patients are in debt as soon as they're diagnosed. 45% say they've delayed care for serious medical issues, 62 of them for minor issues. And 53% of people say they were taken to collections for debt related to cancer treatment expenses. Today I spoke with a Carterville woman who's dealing with some of those issues herself. As bad news was pouring down. I thought it was just a stomach bug and then um, come to find out it was a large tumor. It was a mass in my stomach and my kidneys were in failure. And so I had to go up to Siteman Cancer Center and that's where they diagnosed me th with having stage four non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Terry Wallace was looking up. Sometimes the thing that you think is the end can kind of be the beginning. I have to give praise always to God. Um, At a time when the faith of many would be tested. That's what pulled me through. Wallace's grew stronger. How much time were you given? Less than six months. And, and here we are, how, how much? Later? I'm two and a half years in remission. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's a miracle in itself. As Terry battled for her life, she blogged about it. I also thought I was learning a lot from cancer, not only from from being a patient, but then also being, you know, my father passed away from prostate cancer, so I was there helping him. Hoping others might find their own faith from her experience. I tried to write about uh, the good things. I tried to be encouraging. Um, I did put pictures on there of when I had to shave my head. Even with the ability to work remote, finances were fighting against Wallace, like so many others in her situation. I would bring my laptop and do payroll and stuff like that, but I didn't feel like it, but it did help me to kind of take my mind off it, and it was a relief knowing that at least some revenue was coming in. Even though she's beat the battle with cancer, Wallace continues fighting a heart condition caused by her chemotherapy, having to put off visits to the cardiologist because of current medical bills. You think it's the end, but even that wasn't the end. But through all the pouring rain, Terry continues weathering the storm. If you had one word to describe what pulled you through this, what would it be? Love. Just love. I mean, people don't realize sending and you can help in the fight against cancer. A local nonprofit called Fighting Cancer Today's second annual Race for Life is this Saturday. It's at the Harry Crisp Sports Complex in Marion. Check-in starts at 7 in the morning and the race starts at 8. Registration is $25 and all proceeds go to the group Fighting Cancer Today.